Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So it's been quite a long time since I've done a video and I was in the mood to play a Lego game and I thought, well, I started the Lego Indiana Jones series, so why not carry on with it? I don't know whether it's going to be a regular um, feature of the channel, whether I'll sort of do it regularly uh, for the foreseeable future as it will, because uh, I just don't know how much time I'm going to have uh, in order to record videos, especially a full series, but I would like to carry on, and Lego games are something that I love, especially with Lego Indiana, uh, not Lego Indiana Jones, Lego The Incredibles coming out, which, if you know me, then uh, The Incredibles is one of my favourite Pixar films, if not my favourite, no, I wouldn't say it's my favourite, it's one of my favourite Pixar films. Certainly, um, in the 2000s, it was one of my favourites. I think it's one of the best superhero films uh, ever made. It's the best Fantastic Four film ever made. And I just love it. And I think a Lego Incredible game is just going to be brilliant. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's been quite a hectic year. Um, starting sort of a career properly. Um, yeah, it's it's been great fun, though. I've loved it. But it does mean I haven't had much time to do full series and things like that like I used to. Um, obviously I do the odd Assetto Corsa video, which I enjoy, I love that game. I'm really looking forward to Assetto Corsa Competizione, I believe they called it, um, which is the uh, GT game, uh, the official Blank Pan GT game that they are starting. Uh, it's coming out this summer, I believe, in early access. Um, so it'll be quite nice to see how that goes. I love racing the GT cars on that game. So, um, yeah. Um, I don't know why I'm bothering to build this, because we haven't got a little person who can go through that. But I suppose it's a few extra studs. Um, as always with the LEGO games, I'm going to try and get as many of the sort of, not secrets, but I'm going to try and get True Adventurer. Uh, I'm going to try and get as many of the mini kits as I can. Um, and basically try and get as complete as I can on the story and then I go back through and I try and 100% it on the free mode. Um, Lego Indiana Jones, I can't remember what I said in previous videos. I absolutely love this game. Uh, it's one of my favourite Lego games uh, that came out, certainly before they did the, um, the voice acting for them. Um, I just love Indiana Jones. Uh, I actually watched Last Crusade again the other day, um, which is my favourite Indiana Jones film. Uh, I absolutely love The Last Crusade. Um, I know a lot of people say, oh no, it's got to be Raiders, it's got to be Raiders. But to me, The Last Crusade is the Indiana Jones film from my childhood. It's the one I watched the most number of times. It's the one that I remember even now. Um, I just love the chemistry between Sean Connery and Harrison Ford. It's like, Junior? I told you, Dad. Don't call me Junior. Uh, and just sort of... I just love it. And Even though they're probably not far off in ages, you can believe that they're father and son. I, I, well, I can anyway. I just sort of... I think it's great. And I miss sort of the fact that we didn't get to see Sean Connery in Indiana Jones 4. I get it. Um, the time period and that it would have sort of the dad would have been too old um, but I just think it was a missed opportunity I, I, I love Sean Connery as Henry Jones and just sort of I don't know that entrance to the last crusade it was a brilliant opening um, it, it was just fantastic I, I, I love it uh, there's no other word I can say other than that I love The Last Crusade and I'm glad that I got to see it um, quite early on in my childhood. Um, was it my introduction? I'm trying to think, was The Last Crusade my introduction to um, Indiana Jones? I can't remember. I can't remember when I got introduced to Indiana Jones. I remember loving it, um, but I can't remember who introduced me. Um, it was probably my dad. Um, I doubt my mum would have introduced me to Indiana Jones, but I don't know. I just think Last Crusade for me 
is the one that I always remember. The bike scene, the bike chase. Uh, I think John Williams knocks it out of the park again with that score. Um, especially the shirt so for motorbike. Um, I just, yeah, I, I think it's great. I, I hope that um, Indiana Jones 5 isn't going to disappoint. Um, I'm sure it won't. It, well, I say I'm sure it won't. We all said that about Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Which, I think upon second viewing, if you watch Kingdom of the Crystal Skull now, I think there are two things that will really annoy you. But the rest, I think, you will actually think, ah, oh, you know, I gave that a bit too much uh, flack back in the day. Um, uh, have I screwed this up? No, I can't have done There must be a... There we go. I was going to say, I can't, you can't push that along. Um, yeah, I think the two things that I would say you're going to get annoyed at. Uh, on the... Sort of the big side, the monkey scene. Uh, a, it's awful CGI. B, it just makes no sense. Uh, and secondly, it is the aliens. I think up until the point where they're like, oh yeah, we're aliens and uh, we're gonna fly off in a spaceship or whatever. Up until that point, it, it was all right. Um, I didn't mind Sheila Booth or however you pronounce his name. Um, I wasn't overly fussed by him, I wasn't blown away and I hope he doesn't turn up in Indiana Jones 5 but he didn't offend me. I can tolerate the fridge scene at the beginning um, even as a physicist I think you know what it's a bit of fun, it, who cares whether he's gonna survive in the um, refrigerator or not, he would have been blown up in the blast but oh, um, um, but who cares like how many times do we watch Star Wars or whatever and go, ah, yeah, that's not quite right, that wouldn't happen, but you sort of forgive it because it's a film. Um, some things I really struggle to do that with, oh, stupid Indy. Um, I really struggle to do that with films that are trying to be realistic. Um, so I haven't watched Gravity, uh, it may be a really good film. Um, partly because I don't particularly like Sandra Bullock and I don't like George Clooney. Um, but, I don't know, there were just a lot of things that went, eh, you know what, I'm not convinced that would happen or whatever. Um, so, yeah, I never ended up uh, watching it. Um, however, things like Interstellar, where the screenplay was partly written by um, a Nobel Prize winning physicist, and you think, yeah, you know what, that's how you do it. Anyway, off topic. Um, the rest of Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, I think, is fun. Um, I like John Hurt. I like John Hurt's character. Um, I think that uh, Marion was totally underused. But, once again, the opening to Indiana Jones 4, I think, worked really well with the... Um, Area 51. I think it was great that you saw that cameo from the Ark of the Covenant. Um, and yeah, I, I quite enjoyed it. I didn't have as big an issue with it as some people did. Um, upon re-watching, when I first watched it, I thought, don't like it, worst Indiana Jones film, which I stand by, it is still the worst Indiana Jones film. But I will quite happily sit down and watch it. Like, if it was on telly, I wouldn't go, oh no, I'm not watching that. Like, there are some films that I'd be like, yeah, no, I'm turning over, I'm not watching that. I would sit and watch Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Obviously, Harrison Ford is older, but you know what? I don't think he does too badly. Um, I think he plays the part well, still, I think. Um, the story's not awful, other than the aliens. Um, and yeah, I just, I think it was a bit of fun. I think that's what people forget, is that Indiana Jones is an adventure film. And you can't forget that. You, you've, got to, you've got to have fun watching Indiana Jones. If you don't have fun watching Indiana Jones, then either you shouldn't be watching Indiana Jones, or it's just not your film. It, 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 you're doing something wrong, or they're doing something wrong if you're not having fun. And that guy spawned out of nowhere. 
Um, and yeah, I, I, I enjoy it. Um, that being said, my put in an order. I like I hate ranking films. I find it really difficult, uh, especially when it's franchises that I love. Um, so I think. If I had to rank the Indiana game, now this is going to be really tricky. I haven't watched Raiders in quite a long time. Um, so I'm probably a bit biased against Raiders. That being said, in September, I believe, I'm actually going to watch Raiders of the Lost Ark with a live orchestra playing all of the music to it. And I think once that happens, then and once again, I will be even more um, in favour of Raiders of the Lost Ark and probably it will go to the top. Probably not in front of Last Crusade, but I think um, it will certainly move up. So at the moment, my ranking for Indiana Jones, and I know this is going to be totally controversial and people are going to be like, oh, what are you doing? It should be Raiders first or whatever. Um, I am going to say that my ranking is Last Crusade. Um, Temple of Doom. And then after Temple of Doom, it's uh, going to be Raiders and then Kingdom of the Crew. Oh, don't do that. Um, yeah, it's going to be Raiders and then... Uh, Kingdom of Crystal Skull. Now, I think that um, that's quite controversial and putting Temple of Doom in front of Raiders, but as I said, I haven't watched Raiders in quite a while. I still think that the opening to Raiders of the Lost Ark is one of the best film openings ever. I, I think that introduction to Indiana Jones as a character, I think, is just sublime. It's exceptional. And I don't think you could ask for any more of an introduction to a character, just that you don't see his face, somebody tries to shoot him, he turns round and whips him or whatever, and just like, it's brilliant, it, it really is, I think, it's, as I said, it's one of the best introductions to a character ever. Um, there's no words, it's just all done by action, and I just, yeah, I think it's, um, it is pretty good. Um, Ooh, did he just break that for me? He did. Um, there are a couple of things in this LEGO game that... I don't know when, but I can't remember whether they got changed later on. But when you jump, you can't do like a smash with your attack. You have to wait till you land, so it's kind of like, oh no. Whereas I'm expecting to like jump and then smash down with a spade. Um, but that doesn't happen. Um, I wonder how different it would be if they had done the voice acting like they did in later... Lego games. Um, I think the Lego games lost some of their charm once they added the voice acting because it didn't have that sort of slapstick comedy that they not relied upon, but well, they did rely upon, I suppose, that they utilised when they didn't have the voice acting. Anymore. That being said, Lego Jurassic Park, or Lego Jurassic World, I suppose its official title is, is my favourite Lego game. Um, without a doubt, hands down. Partly because Jurassic Park is one of my favourite films of all time, um, but I just think that game nailed it. I think they absolutely nailed the Lego element, they nailed the film element, and I just absolutely loved it. Um, on that note, I am absolutely looking forward to I'm pumped for Fallen Kingdom. I wasn't. It uh, has to be said, I thought uh, I was a, a sort of a fan of Jurassic World, but I wasn't blown away by it. Um, but I think it was uh, good. Once again, upon rewatching, maybe it's a bit better. I think when I came out of the cinema, I said, oh, this is the best thing ever. It's, like, yeah, it's got lots of cameo, not cameos, it's got lots of references to the original films and all of that. And then I thought, it relied a lot on those references. It relied a lot upon sort of you going in and going, oh, there's the there's the banner from uh, Jurassic Park 1, the T-Rex, like when dinosaurs ruled the world. And um, 
uh, things like that and just sort of um, oh I need the key oh, that was clever wasn't it um, yeah I just sort of yeah but anyway I thought that was really good um, do these go over here yeah they do trying to remember this game it's been so long since I played this game um, let's see what we can do here um, can you get onto it should be able to yeah there we go um, but I can't get up there because I haven't got a grenade um, there's the key oh there's uh, General Tot or what was his name it was somebody Tot T-O-D-T uh, oh no come on I'm supposed to run him over Oh, now I've lost a load of money because it was in a car. Why do you always lose more money when you're in a car and then you get shot than compared to when you're just on foot? I never, I never got that in Lego games. Um, let's pick that up, shove that over here. Um, oh, this is the iron of this level. This is the one where you... Um, you have to fight Pat Roach by the plane. Um, I remember, yeah, it's all slowly coming back to me. Um, but, um, yeah, no, I just, oh, I love Lego games. I've always loved Lego, Lego games. Um, but no, Fallen Kingdom, I'm, I'm looking forward to. Um, oh, you know, what? I've got true, not, I was about to say true Jedi then. I've got true adventure, I'm not fussed by that one blue point. Um, yeah, I just, I, I love Lego games, I am glad they exist. Have they got a bit repetitive? Have they got a bit boring? Maybe. But if it's a franchise that you love, um, then it's not necessarily a bad thing, I don't think. No. No, oh for goodness sake. Is this going to be something that they say, oh no, only if you actually have two people playing, can you... Stop jumping off! Um, let's go and fight Pat Roach. Bomber oh. Boomerang, no. Bomber, or Pat Roach played Bomber in um, uh, Alfie De Zane Pet, and he was just great as a character. I just loved his West Country sort of Bomber like Boomerang, no. and just sort of, it was great. Uh, Alfie De Zane Pet is a fantastic series. If you haven't watched Alfie De Zane Pet, I highly recommend going to see Alfie De Zane Pet. Um, really, really, really good comedy. I personally prefer the later series, so starting with, I always call it Bridge North, um, because it's the one where they take down the Middlesbrough Transporter Bridge or whatever, um, and they call their company Bridge North, um, rather than the ones in Germany, but then I think that's because they're more my era, so they came out early 2000s, I want to say, um, but I didn't, I, so I was a young kid then, and I was introduced to Alfie Design Pet early on, my dad, um, probably with those series, so they're sort of what I grew up with, watching, um, rather than the ones that were in sort of the 80s and that when they are in Germany. Um, I oh, know they're a really really good series. Um, Pat Roach who plays the he actually plays a lot of villains in Indiana Jones. Um, he's in this a couple of times I think. Um, he's in he's in he's in a few anyway. Uh, oh, I've lost my spade. Drat. I wonder if there's another spade up there. Let's uh, destroy all of these. And all of these. Um, yeah, I wonder if there's a spade up here. It's because I got blown up by that grenade and I ended up losing my spade. Um, and then, I think what you do, if I remember correctly, you have to sort of get him to punch an anvil and then you get in the plane and you just sort of start shooting everything. Um, there's a blue coin. Just inside, there we go. 
Bring this star. And pick that up. That should come up here. Okay, there's one. And there should be another one over here that I already made. Yep, there we go. There's one. Over we go. Oh, they're so slow walking when you carry stuff and it doesn't help if you jump. So, uh, yeah. Um, I quite enjoyed watching the uh, Raiders, the greatest fan film ever made. Um, sort of documentary thing. It's about a fan film, basically, that was done. Um, no, let me get in. Let me get in. Here we go. Destroyed. Uh, oh no, I didn't destroy it. Oh yes, I did. There we go. Um, let's get this. Ah, oh, no, that's what I need to destroy. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, yeah, it's all about sort of this fan film that was made years and years and years ago by some kids, and they um, one scene. They basically did every scene in Indiana Jones shot by shot um, and one thing, one scene they didn't do was this scene and they actually did it, they built the plane and, and sort of got an actor in or whatever and sort of redid this scene now um, that's not what I meant to do well in comes some more Nazis um, interesting thing in the Lego games, uh, they never wear a swastika, um, because obviously they're Lego, um, but they are all blonde hair, blue eyes, if you look at them. Um, no, I'm no, touching the wrong person, oh, it's a caught cool punching that rope. Um, let's just put these up. Uh, but now I need to get back in the plane, and I need to shoot the truck, if I remember yeah. Um, And, uh, yeah, get, pick this up again, punch that, <laughs> and pumps up, no, come on, yeah, they never wear spostikas, um, there was something else as well, I can't remember, that I was reading, I read once about, um, sort of Lego games and how Nazis are betrayed. Um, um, yeah, they're Lego games. I know. It doesn't make much difference to me. Um, you know who they are. Partly because you've seen Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, but you, you know who the Nazis are. Like, it's obvious by their uniforms, by the long hair, blue eyes. Uh, here we go. I know, I just <laughs> Lego does things so brilliantly that like they make it so comical. And, um, Salah! Oh, I love seeing Salah again in Last Crusade. Uh, I thought it was great. Oh, no, 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 music. Uh, copyright. Uh, if this video gets banned as this, I'm going to have to cut out this cutscene. Um, I hate the fact that cutscenes, even though if you turn music off, cutscenes still have the music. Um, it makes things really difficult. I remember watching. Um, I remember watching something once, um, and it was. Um, no, that's Salah. Uh, I don't want to be on that. I want to be here. What do I? Oh no, I do want to be on this one. Um, yeah, I. Um, I saw something once where one game, um, they had a, an option in the menu, it was like copyright free music or something, and they basically changed the music so that the music became non-copyright, so you could um, like play it uh, on YouTube or whatever and not be copyright free. and I thought, what a great idea, why don't all games have something like that, I think it, it worked really well. Um, but anyway. Let's get back to chasing the arm. Um, oh, I love some of the animation. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. There we go. Problem is... Oh, I just about... Oh, hang on, which one am I on? I'm on this one. 
There we go. Just about made it with the mini kit. Uh, I know I've missed a couple of mini kits that I just couldn't be bothered to try and get, but oh well. And there's the Ark of the Covenant. Yeah. I, I love that bit in uh, Last Crusade, um, just before the fantastic speedboat chase. It's just like, ooh, what's this? And he goes, the Ark of the Covenant. She's like, are you sure? He goes, pretty sure. Um, I was thinking it's great. And I, they, nobody can make it onto this truck, so they just sort of keep... Oh, uh, he did. Here we go. Um, there you go. Come on, knock him off, knock him off, knock him off. No, knock him off. Oh, we made it over. Are they going to keep coming out? I can't remember. Oh, Salah died. No, here we go. And this guy comes onto the roof. Comes down here, you punch him. Jump in. And you drive off with the Ark. Whee! And there's Tot. And I can't remember the gen. No, it's not. Colonel Dietrich is the one in the green. And Major Tot. That's it. M uh, Major Tot. T O D T. Uh, it's all coming back to me now. And that's obviously Bella in the white suit. Copyright. Oh no. Submarine or U boat, I suppose, because it's German. Um, I love this bit in the uh, in the film. I thought this was a really, really great scene in the film. Um, it was just like, how does he stay on that submarine for so long? Like, it can't have it can't have submerged during its uh, entire run to the island where they open the uh, Ark of the Covenant. No, 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 not copyright music. No, 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 no. Uh, I believe that man's name is Captain Katanga. Uh, it might be wrong. I might be getting mistaken. I know, um, yeah, I think I might be mistaken with Spy, uh, not Spy, let me uh, live and let die. Anyway, we got True, Advent uh, True Adventurer. We got a load of uh, studs. Got a few of the mini kits, only two. There we go. Uh, so let's make our way back to Barnet College and we'll see if we can buy any characters and then we will end it there. Um, Hope you've enjoyed this sort of, I will call it a one-off for now, because I'm not sure whether uh, I will have time to do any more. Uh, hang on. No, it is the first one, it's the library, isn't it? Um, yeah, here we go. So we have the Hovitos, uh, Barranca, Belloc, Jungle Guide, Major Tot. Oh, it's Tot, not Todd. Oh, so it's T-O-H-T rather than T-O-D-T. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Um, have we unlocked anybody new in this one? Let's have a look. Uh, oh, we have. <gasps> yeah, we've got to get Pat Roach. Uh, oh, it's Katanga. Oh, it's Captain Katanga. There we go. And we'll buy the first mate. And we'll buy Indiana Jones, Desert Disguise. And I think we've just spent all of our money. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Uh, maybe it'll be back. Maybe it won't. We'll see. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.